All right, what is going on everybody? It's Liam here and welcome to today's video on the channel. And in today's video, I got a positive video for you. Hell yeah, brother. Basically, I'll be talking about the new PvP update that has happened recently. Now, at the time of me recording this audio, it is day three of the new season. And honestly, I've been having a lot of fun on my storm. And I just kind of wanted to talk about it and get my feedback so far from what I have seen. Real quick though, before we get into the video, y'all, if you guys do enjoy my content at all, I would appreciate it if y'all left a like rating and a sub on the channel. Currently, I am doing a membership giveaway for 3,000 subscribers. I think we're 105 off right now. So once we hit 3,000 here on YouTube, I will be giving away a membership code. And uh, yeah. Without further ado, y'all, let's get right into this video. Now, obviously, it is very early in the season. The meta still needs to evolve and take shape. But I just wanted to kind of put like a positive video out where I'm talking about like each school. And honestly, I think every school right now is playable, you know? Last update, for example, Storm was unplayable. Fire was kind of mid. But now, Storm is like kind of play. Like, I would say it's playable. I would argue it's pretty good playable and fires also really cracked this update and the only thing that has changed is the fact that the meta slowed down right king's house simply banned a couple of cards that were above damage per pip and they standardized uh shield gambits to not be as like you know uh op basically and we're already seeing like a whole new meta just freak out and come out and it's honestly a lot of fun you see balance not spamming scales anymore, so people aren't setting with like 80 and 90 resist. Balance actually has its school identity back now, which is pretty darn cool. You see Storm's healing right now in the arena. You see Myths doing other stuff like Splash Squatch instead of Calendar into a Yaga and 2-tap your entire health bar. And I've been having a lot of fun on primarily my Storm and Fire, uh, this update. My Fire, having a blast. Storm. I actually haven't lost on my storm if you don't count the two matches where I got set for and sniped. I'm basically like 18 and 0 right now on my storm. So it's, uh, I don't know. I mean, we're playing pretty good. Uh, this is my deck setup if you want it. It's in the server as well. Uh, that's the side deck as well. But uh, yeah, we're doing really great. Almost got Warlord. I will keep going for it this season. I am going to try and get my Death and Fire Warlord at the same time as my Storm as well. But I think it's really cool that King's Law has finally made it to a point where every school is damn near playable right now. Um, my only complaint I'd say about Storm is still the fact that we kind of have the healing stuff shoved down our throats. A lot of Storms just want to play Glass Cannon and not heal. But with their Sulker change, you can't do that because if you get the heal blade back, you will lose. That would be my only complaint. That's not even like a buff storm complaint. That's just like a like a game design, like taking away, you know, what players want to do and force them to do stuff. That's just, you know, bad game design there. That's not even me saying buff storm. But then um, life right now is also pretty darn good in the meta since stuff slowed down. That's why you're seeing healing on storm and life be like the best schools right now. I think life and storm are the two best schools right now in my opinion, actually. But uh, I will have a tier list coming out pretty soon for y'all on that. I'm just gonna play a couple more games, you know, uh, play every school, hopefully get every school to at least captain before I make that tier list and really get a feel for things. Ice is a bit down bad right now. If you're a good player on an ice though, and you set your deck, I think you can beat almost anybody, but you have to have, you know, a little bit of skill now on an ice. I've also seen that the balance gen seems to be really uh, OP, you know? Now, you could pack sets and try to like mitigate the damage a bit, but like an unbuffed balance gen does 5,000, and that's just absolutely nuts, right? Now, like I said, you can pack sets, you can scales and stuff like that. There are counters to it, but that's just like a really, really good gambit, and a lot of players right now think that one is just a little bit too good, the new balance gen. So yeah, Storm's pretty good. Ice is okay. I'd probably say Ice isn't that great, but Ice is like a really skill-dependent school right now. Kind of like Storm in a way. Uh, not quite as hard to play as Storm, but Ice is pretty good if you're a good player. Myth, 
as well is a still a very broken school in the meta very good i'd probably say myth life and storm are top three but we'll get around to that in the tier list so myth's good ice is playable storm's pretty good life is meta fire is also pretty good death is really good as well and obviously bounce and their stats and Jin is what's really carrying the school right now the new Jin just does so much damage and the fact that balance still has all four uh stats on their shambo wheel just makes it extremely demonic right now in the meta right on my balance i'm at the damage cap i have 11,000 health i have 10 million resist i have 10 million crit and block i have 10 million Armor piercing as well. I pierce all the storm and fires resist. So balance right now is an absolute demon. And I look forward to actually playing my balance. Like a balance, not just spamming scales. I'm looking forward to, you know, actually having some strategy in my gameplay and stuff like that. Damn, bro. The servers went down when I was recording the video. Well, damn. Well, I think the new update is going to be about the... Uh, I think the fix a rate the stitch bug or exploit that players have been doing and I think we're getting the new gauntlet um if I had to guess that'll probably be within the new update I um I actually have to go to another tooth appointment tomorrow morning so I might be a bit late on the update news which is unfortunate but uh you know I guess I'll be streaming it and covering it and that'll be out probably in like a day or two but um yeah, uh, really happy with how things are right now in the current meta. Let me know your guys' thoughts and feedback down below in the comments. I'm just really happy that every single school right now is really balanced, you know? We only have a couple schools that are, you know, pretty broken with their stats and stuff. You know, you're looking like, you know, balance, looking at death, you're looking at uh, myth as well. Just the schools that have literally every single stat, health, resist, pierce and uh damage you know i think that is literally literally the only thing wrong with the meta at least right now at the start of this new season and uh yeah that's my opinion y'all let me know what you think about this again again in the comments below and i will see y'all on the next video tomorrow or today or i i don't know i'm recording this at 2 a.m i got my days and nights mixed up i will see you on the next one thank y'all for the love Thank you for being here and take care guys.